Blessed are the poor in spirit Those who see the sin in their hearts Blessed are the ones who are weeping Cause sin has torn the whole world apart Blessed are the meek and humble God will freely give them all things Blessed are the ones who are hungry And thirst for justice and wait on their King Shake, shake, shake like a salt shaker And we are the light of the world So we're gonna shine, shine, shine Till the night's no more We're gonna shine, shine, shine Till the night's no So they can forgive Blessed are the pure in heart God will show His face to them We are the salt of the earth So we're gonna shake, shake, shake Like a salt shaker We are the light of the world So we're gonna shine, shine Till the night's no more We're gonna shine, shine, shine Till the night's no more Today's Bible reading comes from Colossians 4, verses 2 to 6. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us, that God may open to us a door for the word, to declare the mystery of Christ, on account of which I am in prison, that I may make it clear which is how I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. This is God's Word.
Another beautiful morning at Sally's house. Sally is happily eating breakfast. I mean, playing with her dolls. I mean, uh, Sally is... Where are you, Sally? Where are you? Uh, never mind that. Here is little Sally playing with her... Uh, playing with her... Uh, what do you have there, Sally? I'm so frustrated. I've been reading my Bible to learn more about God, and I'm getting confused. Jesus says that we're supposed to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. I don't know how to be a light, and I don't taste very salty. A little sticky, though. What was Jesus talking about? Ah, good question, Sally. I've got a couple of friends that can help answer that. Yo, yo, what's shaking? DJ Salt Shaker in his house. Yeah, and I'm MC Fitty Watt. Light it up! Yo, that's not cool. Not cool. I'm hot. Lights better. Salt's better. Lights better. Salt's better. Lights better. Salt's better. Lights better. Salt's better. better. Uh, Boy. excuse me. Sally has a question. Well, I'm reading about how Jesus told us to be salt and light. What does that mean? Well, Sally, you see, it's like this. Yo, 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 <laughs> Sally! The reason why we're supposed to be salt is because without salt, the world would be boring. Because salt adds flavor. Yo, the only thing salt does is raise your blood pressure. Without light, Sally, no one would be able to see. I light up the stage. You're crazy. Salt makes everything taste better. Well, without light, you can't see salt. You're invisible. Oh, yeah? Well, can you melt ice? Can you provide vitamin D? Can you preserve venison? Can you sterilize a scalpel? Can you heal a boo-boo? Say what? Uh, well, I meant, uh, a cut. Can you heal a cut? <sighs> I'm sorry, Sally. My friends may not be the best examples after all. What Jesus wants is for you to show other people the same love that he has shown you. Being the salt and light of the world means to take God's love out to help other people and tell them the good news about God's love and not keep it hidden inside of you. Go make a difference. All you need to do is look around you. Everyone needs help. And when you do what you can to help them, you're showing the love of Jesus. Have a great day, Jesus loves you. Salt? In the, his house. In his house. Oh yeah, it's dinner and a show. I said, uh, here we gizzo. Well, I'm salt. And I'm light. And we're here to say, you got, got to show God's love. Every day. <laughs> you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Game time! <laughs>